All right, YouTubers and podcast listeners, just giving you a glimpse of how dark. I have a bright headlamp on, giving you guys a glimpse of how dark. Can't even see you, Joe. Here's my Taz cam that I'm recording on. Joe's about four feet in front of me, can't even see him, even with the headlamp. So, flashes you're seeing of Dave taking photos. Barely saw you. So, um, if we come upon anything worth illuminating, we will make sure and get it on video. But right now, we're walking towards Profile Rock. Take another couple pictures. Well, guys, watch. Watching the video. Taking pictures of the rock to illuminate it with the flash of the camera. There you go. Try to do it again. It's very hard to illuminate. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see the profile of I an Indian. Always, but... Oh, no, that's the right angle. This is interesting. This plant right here is called pokeweed. Yeah. And those berries on it, the Native Americans would use as a dye to dye their clothing and stuff. So this is profile rock being lit up at night. Dave, try to trace it. Try to trace the whole thing. I'll do the same thing with my light. Graffiti. Hopefully. What's the story with this place? Um, are we recording or no? We are. Dave, they, right. we talked about it during the beginning oh, already. Was I, uh, was I telling you when we were recording or no? No. Okay. We talked about it during the intro, so it's good. Yeah, okay. For the YouTubers, man, I'm trying to get some good footage of it, but I just can't. You're missing a beautiful starlit sky, uh, you know, peeking over this profile rock. It's pretty, pretty incredible, man. Uh, yeah, a little closer, maybe my headlight could light it up a little bit for you guys. There goes my flashlight. There's Joe. GoPro hopefully picking that up. I don't think so. Oh wow! <laughs> Check this out. Right. Freetown State Forest. One of the most haunted forests, supposedly. Pretty calm. What did you find? Oh, a little toad? <laughs> found as is. Just all right. toad just like I'm going to cut the video for now. Huh? I left the Taz cam sitting over there recording. Stay okay. over here. Lots of orby things. Yeah. So no feelings up there, Joe? No. It's great that you went up there and got pictures. I appreciate that. Yeah. So they say right there is where he supposedly sits, huh? Right up top. Like in a meditative state, sitting there contemplating his fate. Did he know he was going to die? That's the story goes. There's so much dust in the air, dude. Yeah, I'm not taking photos because of the fog. Yeah, you'll, ra you'll waste your... I mean, maybe one or two, Joe, but not... No, I'm not. I took them on my phone. All right, let's all just sit down and... I'm recording. I'm standing there. I'm fine.
smells like um, baking something, right? <coughs> like uh. Alright, guys, shut your lights off. Alright, I'll go fuck myself. Let me just go turn off this audio. Huh? Jesus Christ. Just shut the lights off and let the audio run. Picking up Jason Knights. I'm gonna save this portion and we're gonna do it again. Doesn't it smell like something's baking over there? Like, like bread or something? Something sweet? Alright, if I drop this, can we not talk for a while? Can we be silent? I'm, I'm already silent. I'm just gonna put it up over here. Okay, I'm going to set it down. Hopefully you heard something, we have to review that. But now I'm um, setting it actually on profile rock before I was about 40 yards away. Um, setting it down right now on profile rock. Everyone be quiet. Me setting it down. Or do you want me to go up there and put it up there? Yeah, if you want. All right, I'll climb. Don't go, you don't have to go all the way. It's recording right now, so if you want to narrate your steps, go ahead. Kind of About halfway, Joe. You don't have to go all the way up. God bless that kid. That's good, bro. Oh man, that was recording the whole time. Wow, I have to check that out. Okay, I know you guys can't see this, but the Tascam recorder uh, is up top of Profile Rock recording, hopefully some EVPs right now, but I had to jump onto something that could record what's happening. Uh, there is a strange something moving in the sky. Talk to us, Dave. Um, is that recording? It is. We saw what looked like a star that was moving in a straight line um, across the sky. Um, it moved basically straight across the sky. We watched it for, I don't know, a good 45 seconds or so. Yeah. Um, it might have been a satellite, but it was definitely... It was moving really fast. It definitely satellite. wasn't a plane. It wasn't anything, but... I was just looking up at the and stars. We know what satellites it. look like. They're by your house. Yeah. Yeah, they're not very fast moving. Yeah, um, but this thing was this thing was moving along at a pretty good clip. It it kind of it pretty much went across the whole sky within 30 seconds. And, da or at least and, and Dave is usually the the non-believer. Right. Okay. Skeptic. This is about to run out of battery, so I just wanted to catch that uh, on audio at least because you can't see. All right, recording for YouTube don't remember if we picked this up for YouTube, but Joe, could you quickly recap <coughs> what happened to you while you were up in profile, up on top well, of profile rock? First off, I, uh, I left the Taz cam up there, and uh, when I when I got up there, I told, uh, yeah, I asked him to comment, I'm like, I'm going to comment. If, uh, if you have anything to say, I'm going to leave this here for you. If you Come could on, please, me. If you could please speak into it, you know, or speak in the recording. Maybe you don't know what a recording is, I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, I, we left it up there for, I don't know, what, about half an hour? Maybe 25 yeah, it was minutes, about 20, 20 minutes. minutes, 25 minutes, yeah, all by itself uh -huh. recording. Hopefully we caught some EVP. Okay, cool. 
done, I uh, I go back up to get it. To get the test can. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I was uh, climbing up, I was about three quarters of the way there. I heard, uh, I actually, I felt it. It was so close. Yeah. I felt the, the low vibration in the voice. Something said, So you think and, it said your name? Yeah, and I thought it was one of uh, you guys messing with me. No, okay? we're probably 60 yards and away. I, and, I, and, I, and I turned around and I didn't see anybody behind me. And I said, Jay? And, and I, what? I, I'm like, Jay? And then you're like, yeah, all the way down there. And I'm like, oh, God. So I, I grabbed uh, the Taz can and I got the hell down. Um, kind of freaked me out. I mean, I, maybe I probably should have stayed up there, but I get nervous. I get the hell out no, of there. Sometimes when this stuff happens, it catches you off guard. Um, and then uh, Dave started taunting it after he heard what happened. Uh, so I went up there by myself with no Taz cam. My camera, I went up there. I, I talked to him a little bit and... You know, I apologized, you know. And Why did you feel you had to apologize? For, I didn't apologize for me. I apologized for Dave. I see. Why did you feel you had to do that? Because he disrespected the site. And that's not what we're about. No. He didn't mean it. He was just trying to provoke, but still. That's and, not what um, we're about. You know, if he's trying to, you know, contact me, I mean, I want him to know. I mean, which he obviously probably feels, too. Um, but, you know, I, we'll see what happens. I might have some dreams in the next couple of nights. It usually does happen with spirit. So, I want to... I, I just thought I'd be respectful. And, you know, I owed that to him. Well, very good. Good. Thanks for the uh, update, Joe.